Today, for the first time in the history of the NHS, junior doctors in England are taking action involving the full withdrawal of their labour. They do so with considerable regret and having been backed into a corner left by a government intent on using the medical profession as an example of things to come for the NHS. Doctors who care for patients day in and day out are the last people to suggest that this won't have an impact on a health service already under pressure. But we're confident in the cover which senior doctors are providing over these two days to ensure patient care is safe. The public will know that, right up to the wire, the BMA has urged the Secretary of State to agree to compromise. Over the past week, over the weekend and again yesterday, on the eve of industrial action, we made him a clear offer. Lift in position and junior doctors would call off the strikes. This offer and other interventions by a host of voices seeking to reach a compromise have simply been dismissed by the Secretary of State. And yet there is still so much yet to discuss. In his own words, the Secretary of State has acknowledged that junior doctors' genuine, deep-seated concerns go far beyond the issue of Saturday pay. Critical issues concerning work-life balance, excessive working hours, improvements in training and, crucially, workforce and funding implications for seven-day services remain to be fully resolved. For the sake of patients, the long-term future of the NHS and future generations of junior doctors on whom on whose expertise and commitment we will all depend, we continue to urge the Secretary of State to put patient care before political dogma.